Today on this video, I'm going to be covering the cold email system that we use to book hundreds of calls every single month to our clients and to our campaigns. This is pretty much the cold email system that we have used ourselves and that our clients use and their clients use. I'm going to be running through exactly how many email accounts we get, how do we set them up, how does the infrastructure actually fit together. Before we get into the actual setup, I need you to understand that there are two ways to send cold email. So there's cold email at scale. There's also the hyper-personalized way of sending cold email. So when you're doing cold email at scale, you're pretty much doing more volume. So your volume is going to be higher. You're going to be reaching out to hundreds or thousands of leads every single day. Your conversion rates, so your meeting booking rates are going to be a bit lower. It's not as personalized and targeted, but it's also in a lot of times takes less energy. Then we also have the hyper personalized approach where we do pretty much less volume, but it's going to be more personalized and more targeted. And the conversion rates in the meeting book rates are going to be higher. Of course, it can take a bit more energy, but it can also work extremely well. So the main thing that I want you to understand that there's no right or wrong way to do it. Both of these have their own time and place. For example, let's say that you have a really, really small total addressable market. You have only like 1000 leads or 500 leads you can reach out to in the whole world. Then in my opinion, it makes more sense to go hyper personalized, have more touch points, hit them up on email multiple times. Or if you have a bigger total addressable market, let's say you have 10,000 or 50,000 or 100,000 prospects that you can reach out to in your niche, then in my opinion, it makes more sense to just do cold email scale. So shoot these huge, broad, more generic campaigns. It's going to take you less time, less energy, and it's easier to automate. So I just want to clarify that today we are going to be talking about this section of cold emails, or we're going to be talking about the setup on how to do cold email email at scale. So when we are setting up the technical side of things, there's going to be four things. The first thing is domain. Sometimes I get people asking me on YouTube or on Twitter, like, why do we need so many different domains? And why do we need so many different email accounts? If we want to reach out to, let's say 500 leads every single day, we want to send 500 emails to different prospects every single day. In order for us to be able to do that and actually land in the primary inbox, we need to be diversifying the emails for different accounts. Because of course, if we have a G Suite, Google email account that sends 500 emails like this, Google is going to look at this and be like, hmm, this might be spam. So they're going to put us in the spam folder. And we, of course, don't want that. So we need to diversify the emails to multiple inboxes. So for the domains, what we are going to do is we first need to buy some domains. I always recommend that in the beginning that you buy 10 domains and you can buy these domains from Google domains, from Namecheap, from GoDaddy, from all of these different places. You should try to get these to be as similar as your original domain as you possibly can. So for example, let's say that your agency main domain, the main website address of your agency is going to be turboram.io. We don't want to use this domain to send emails because then if it gets marked as spam by Google, then we can never really send emails with that email account. We are trying to communicate with our clients or with our prospect or whatever it might be. It's going to be hard because we are going to just be landing in the spam folder. So what I always do, you pretty much can add different words in front or behind your main domain. So you pretty much add a word here and it could pretty much be get or try or see or use or now like at the end of the day it doesn't really matter what kind of prefix you use like people are not going to care that much about it and when getting these domains i wouldn't do .io i wouldn't do .ai i wouldn't do anything else for cold email just do .com domains we have seen that a lot of the other domains have different restrictions then when you have bought your domain go to the domain provider settings just go to the dns settings and just pretty much the only thing you need to do is you need to set up the DMARC, you need to set up SPF, you need to set up DKIM record. Then what you also need to do, you need to set up a custom tracking domain. The easiest way to explain it is when you're sending cold emails, you are using a cold email sending tools. There's a few different ones. There's instantly or there's smart leads. Those are the two main ones. And then there's a bunch of other ones. Each one of these email sending provider has a tracking domain, pretty much that something that they can use to track your email performance. If you're using general tracking domain that the cold email sending software provides you automatically, it's pretty much the same thing as using the same toothbrush that your roommates use. So you want to have your own one. So you need to set up something called custom tracking domain. And once again, it's going to be extremely simple and every single email sending software has a bit of a different one. But for example, if you use instantly, you just once again go to the DNS records. Here's an example of Google's DNS records. Here we have your DMARC set up and then you also need to set 
set up your custom tracking domain. So this is how you set up the DMARC record. And then to set up the tracking domain, you do the same thing. The host name is going to be track. Then it's going to be a C name record 3600. And then you put your own email software's data on it. So if you just go to instantly, for example, and you just write how to set up tracking domain to their help center, it's going to give you an exact step-by-step -step tutorial. Then when you have set up your domains, now we have your DMARC set up, you have your tracking domain set up, they are .com domains. Then the last thing you need to do is you need to take your domains and you need to forward them to your main domain. And this is once again, extremely simple to do. On Google, you just press website and it asks what website you want to forward it to. So pretty much this way, let's say you send an email to someone from the address getturboram.com. And if they go ahead and if they search that domain, they're going to automatically get redirect to your main landing page. So they're not going to get confused. Now you have set up your domains. And pretty much, like I said, I recommend that you get 10 domains when starting out. And then for every single domains, you create two users. So you have 20 email accounts. Then what you're going to do is you are just going to go to the Google profile. So if you have bought them from someone else, just connect them to Google Workspace. So if you have bought them from Namecheap, connect the domains to Google Workspace. And if you have bought them from Google domains, they're already going to be Google Workspace accounts. So go to those Google Workspace account settings and change the profile picture to your own profile picture. Put your face there. So when you're sending an email, you're going to have a profile picture that shows your name and it enhances trust and it also pops up nicely on the email inbox. Then when you have set up your domains and your profile picture, then you need to set up something called master inbox. So we have your domain. So let's say we have domain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's just fucking use seven as an example. You have seven domains. And now on every single domain, you have two different email accounts. So you have email one and email two. You have email three, email four, email five, email six, email seven, email eight. Boom. So you have a bunch of different email accounts. So of course, we want to be able to monitor them on one screen or one tab. So we want to pretty much connect all of these email accounts, this one email inbox that we are using. For example, if you use Instantly, they have a feature called Unibox where it does it automatically for you. But what I like to do is I like to use something called the master inbox. And pretty much what you do to set up the master inbox, you go to every single email accounts forwarding settings and you enable forwarding on the email account and then you forward it all to one address. Then what I would do is I would just forward all of the emails from here, from here, from here. Pretty much every single email account would be pointing to this one master inbox. So this way, when I'm sending emails, I'm just able to monitor this one email account and I can see all of the replies that I'm getting there and I'm able to reply to all of these messages. So pretty much then you have set up your master inbox. Then the last thing that we need to do is warm up. This is once again something extremely simple to do. So what you just do, depending on what cold email provider you use or what cold email sending software you use, you just go to their warm up tool and you start warming up the email. So pretty much what email warm up means is when you register a new email account. If you immediately start sending a bunch of emails and getting a bunch of replies, it's going to look suspicious to Google. It's not going to look natural. So we're going to put it into an engagement pool for 14 days where your email sends emails to other email accounts on the engagement pool. So they're pretty much just having conversations with each other. They are giving replies and they are sending emails to each other. So then after two weeks, the email account looks like it was a normal email account that just a normal person would be using. And pretty much how you just do it is for the first two weeks, you just do warm up so you don't do anything else. So you just let the warm up emails roll. Then after two weeks, you start the week one of all emails and you just send 25 emails a day. So if you have 10 email accounts, you are sending 25 emails per day per account. So 10 times 25 is 250. So you start sending 250 emails a day plus warm up email. Then after one week, you bump it to 30. For one week, you send 30 a day. So you're sending 300. And then every single week, increase your sending limit by five. So start sending 25 a day per account, then 30, then 35, 40, 45, and 50 until you hit the 50 emails a day per account mark. So if you have 20 email accounts, after six weeks of sending, you're going to be sending 1000 emails a day. And if you're sending 1000 emails a day, even if you have OK level scripts, you're still going to be booking 10, 20, 30 calls a month from email. And that is pretty much how you set up the technical side of cold emails. Something to keep in mind, sometimes even if you're doing everything right, these email accounts are going to get burned and blacklisted. So pretty much they're going to get blacklisted by Google and you can't use them to send. So I always recommend that you have five to extra 10 email accounts warming up. So you never pretty much go fully without outreach, even if something crazy happens. If you actually want to learn how to write the cold emails, how to get the leads and how to pick your niche and how to pick your offer, just go to my channel. I have a bunch of these different videos that you can just look through and learn actually how to dominate the industry by sending cold emails with this setup. A quick side note as well, if you actually want to use cold email as your service,
service and actually provide a lot of value to other companies by setting up these cold email infrastructures, running campaigns for them, generating them more leads and more meetings and getting paid a lot of money to do so. You can also check out angelvelocity.io. It is our consulting company where we help aspiring agency owners become amazing B2B growth marketers. We help them use cold email. We help them pick niches. We help them create offers so they're able to make a lot of money for their clients. And we pretty much help you to scale to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, dollars a month through our personal one-on-one -on -one consulting and our protocol and all of that stuff we have gotten amazing results boom 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 whatever the fuck we have gotten a lot of amazing results as you can see so if you want to actually use cold email to generate leads for other companies go check out angel velocity it's the first link in the description as well and uh, i'll see you there thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed take care bye